Good morning, guys. Um, I left my camera at home, unfortunately, so we're on my phone real quick. But I just want to start off this um, breast reduction journey, journal, whatever, vlog, by saying I finally found a doctor I was interested in, and I just got off the phone consultation with her. Um, usually you would have a in-person consultation, but due to the coronavirus, the COVID, everything is shut down right now. So it is Monday. March 30th I sent in my pictures and my insurance information to her on Thursday and Monday we had the phone cons phone consultation and she said that um, I would be a really good candidate and she thinks my approval odds are great for getting a breast reduction and unfortunately because the world is shut down right now um, I could have got in in like two weeks but since the world is shut down we're looking at early June mid-May so hopefully that can be bumped up even earlier but um this is crazy y'all like <laughs> I didn't get approved yet, but she said I have one of the fastest responding insurance companies, so I should hear back in five to seven business days. So it's Monday now, so hopefully I should hear back by next Monday. And then after that, we can go ahead and schedule a surgery date. But I'm just like, it's finally happening. But that's pretty much all I have to say. It is first day to my, not the first day, but first day to moving a step in my breast reduction journal. So I will see you guys for the next update. Can't believe it's finally happening. So it is Friday, June 12th. It is currently 5 o'clock in the morning. I thought somebody was standing behind me, but it was that lamp. That was kind of scary. Anyways, it's Friday, June 12th, 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, and I am about to go ahead and head to the hospital. I took my shower and my antibacterial soap. And I have literally zero moisturizer, zero lotion on. I always put on baby oil when I get out the shower. So right now, I am really struggling. But I'm so dry. I'm just going to go in. So yeah, this is going to be crusty. So ignore my lips <laughs> i'm so dry but i just want to show you guys what i'm looking like um this is what i'm wearing to surgery i'm gonna put on some crocs i have them upstairs and this is my sweater of course i don't have a bra on because why not so this is what i'm looking like without a bra i'll go ahead and open my shirt up for you see if you can see it better so literally this is what i look like somebody's it just merges together this is my boobs. They just merge together. My belly button's right here and my nipples right here. So yeah, I'm excited to see what they look like after surgery. Um, I went ahead and I took all my piercings out so I don't have in my nose piercing, my cartilage or my belly button. I couldn't get this piercing out so I'm gonna have to ask them to do that there. Hopefully somebody has like small enough fingers but I can't like reach the ball to untwist it. And I've been trying all night and my ear is kind of sore now. So I was like, I'm just gonna let them do that. But anyways, I'm about to go ahead and head upstairs. Hopefully my brother is awake. That's who's dropping me off. So, <sighs> take my pillows up there. Um, my brother is dropping me off. My mom is picking me up. So I need to tell somebody to remember to have a pillow in the car for the car ride back. Um, I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get unfortunately due to the fact that it's COVID so I'm gonna be there by myself but I'm gonna try to do as best as I can 
so don't be mad if it's a little choppy um, but yeah we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs so i will see you guys i don't know when but i will see you guys in a little bit so i guess I'm just dropping off but yeah the main entrance and then i have to get some elevator okay the face tiny if you want me to talk to a nurse or like you want me to hear something okay i'll be up already met the anesthesiologist who will stand up here. Mm -hmm. uh, the doctor who talked to you about the medications and stuff to go to sleep. Yes. And how there's not going to be an actual tube down your throat. You'll kind of be breathing oh, on your own with like a breathing assisting device. It doesn't go all the way down into your lungs. Okay. It actually just kind of stays in your mouth. Okay. So your throat may be a little bit sore still afterwards, but um, yeah, you'll be under general anesthesia, but not to the deepest level. You will not remember it though. Okay. <laughs> Your eyes are something better. <laughs> That's all I care about. Okay. So I'm out of surgery. Um, I'm back at the house. I've been here for a couple hours. I just woke up. I'm eating my first meal, which is some chicken noodle soup. My throat hurt more than my boobs. They put a breathing tube down my throat. Um, so I'm drinking the broth now because it kind of hurt to swallow. But I got this on because I'm trying to eat. But they're so small and cute. They hurt underneath. Like the underneath stitches, they don't hurt nowhere else. But they hurt. It's like a burning hurt. But my face is real dry because I didn't get to moisturize this morning. I just put on chapstick. I got my water next to me with my straw in it. Um, I'm about to take my first dose of antibiotics and pain reliever so I can go back to sleep. But other than that, all is well. I didn't get nauseous. Not like I expected. Maybe because I told them so many times I get nauseous. So they probably gave me a whole bunch of that to help. So I haven't had to worry about any of that yet. It was overwhelming being alone. But they let me record as much as I could. So as long as I had my camera, I was recording. And then when I woke up, it was a, it was two nurses with me when I woke up. So that was nice. They were real nice and sensitive. It was a white guy holding my hand and rubbing my back. <laughs> and I woke up crying. He was like, it's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. And then the other lady was feeding me ice. So... That was the first room. I was in there for like an hour and a half, which felt like five minutes. And then they took me to the other room to make sure I was, they was forcing me to stay awake <laughs> so that I could leave, but it was kind of hard. So I stayed in there a little longer than expected. And then my mom got there, they blew me down. Um, she was offering me snacks and stuff, but I didn't want nothing to eat. I just wanted ice because my throat was hurting. So that was that, um, I'm wrapped in bandages but I'm eating it so I'm not taking my napkin off I'll show y'all later other than that I have my IV in my hand so my hand is wrapped up she only had to put it in once so I don't know why they wrapped it up but I don't have drains thank god that's the first thing I asked when I woke up was <laughs> do I have drains they're like nope and I was like ugh thank god I did not want those so, but she told me more than likely I wouldn't have drains because drains is only for if you have like a bunch of open space because your open space fills with fluid. So I guess I just had a lot of tissue. Um, 
I'm pretty small, pretty happy. All my weight goes to my chest, so I want them as small as possible because I know my weight will fluctuate there. So yeah, that's pretty much my first check-in. About to finish eating, take my antibiotic and pain pills, and hopefully go back to sleep. <laughs> so just chilling, watching TV. Um, I will check in with you guys later if I have anything else to say. guys i'm checking in it is the still the first day it's 10 45 now where's my chopstick okay cool so um i'm laying down now my sister just came and propped me up i have my blanket on top of me two pillows on the side of me i have my the pregnancy pillow and a back pillow and then my legs are elevated with another pillow so i'm nice and comfortable tv's on lights on she left me a bucket right here i have my gatorade my chopstick and then um my pain pills if needed i haven't taken them since i ate dinner so i'm gonna try to see how long i can take them throughout see how long I can go without taking them I just took my muscle relaxers so that might play a part in some pain as well with helping so if I need to end up taking them throughout the night I'm gonna just text her the time I take them and she can update my time stamp and go with that but I have some water next to me and then I have some ginger ale so so far so good I have my heating pad I'm trying to see if I just got I'm getting nauseous I have a heating pad under my butt. I forgot to put that on my supplies video. But yes, yeah, so you want to make sure you get a heating pad because you're sitting on your butt for so long. And um, you don't want it to get numb or anything. So the heating pad really helps. You can just leave that on low or medium. And then I have my 10 foot charger. So all is well, nice and comfy. I just went to the bathroom. So I've been peeing. Like every 30 minutes so hopefully most of that's out of me now and I can sleep most of the night but I'm not really sleeping right now so I'm just watch TV and talk to my boyfriend on the phone but I will update update you guys right now my pain is like non-existent um, at first I was only taking one part every four hours but then for dinner I took two just so I could be more comfortable at night and I really think that helped because I'm not feeling anything I was feeling throughout the day so, once again, tomorrow I'll probably start to lean off of it, depending on my pain feels, and just take the time off versus taking those. But, yeah. I'm about to put this down now because I think it's making me nauseous, all the movement. So, I'm about to just start watching TV and talk on the phone. So, I will update you guys when there's any changes or any feelings. But so far, I'm feeling good. The only thing that was hurting was my niece crying. 
only thing that was hurting was my stitches underneath i could feel like i've been cut but like it it was like a burning sensation but that's really the only thing i was feeling i don't feel any pressure or anything they're really swollen and my skin is really tight but i'll show you guys in the morning they said I'm allowed to shower 24 to 48 hours after and put on a sports bra and take off this bandage. But I'm probably going to wait a little longer if I'm not feeling like real dirty. Um, I'm going to wipe myself down in the morning because I have been peeing like a lot. So I'm going to wipe myself down tomorrow. I'm definitely not showering tomorrow. Maybe Sunday because it's Friday now. But yeah, I will be back to update you guys if there are any changes. Um... Yeah, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, and my throat. My throat is still sore. Um, the ginger ale, I had it with my dinner. And it was burning, child. That shit hurt. So I switched back to my water, but my throat's still raspy. They said it'll be about two to four days. Hopefully it's gone before then. And it's sore and raspy because they put the tube, they put the breathing tube down my throat for surgery. During surgery, to help me breathe. But... Hopefully that goes away because my throat really hurts more than my boobs. But yeah. I will see you guys later. I'm going to try to lay her down for her nap. In her crib? Hmm? In her crib? Yeah, but I'm going to try to lock her. Hi guys, it has been a long time since I checked in. Um, I'm just gonna go over a few things with you. <sighs> what is today is, today's Monday, so it's three days post-op. I had it on Friday, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's three days post-op. I just woke up, I'm still in my pillow heaven. Um, my sister made me a fruit smoothie this morning because I still haven't pooped. So let me just go and order. So I, I have a fruit smoothie. Hopefully that helps my bowels get to move in. But, um, <clears throat> okay, so day one post-op, Saturday, we went out, um, we went out, got some fresh air. I didn't really do too much, but I was sitting in the car, and then we had some Chick-fil-A, and we pretty much came back to the house, but I just got out the house and got some fresh air, and I had on some leggings and a big old button-up, um, and I still have my gauze wrap on with my padding, so that was day one post-op day two post out which was yesterday we had a picnic because it was my sister and her husband's anniversary so we just wanted a little picnic um we went to a park that wasn't crowded at all sat in the sun got some nice fresh air that was amazing so when we were out i took my antibiotic and my pain pill so and had some lunch so that was pretty nice got to get some fresh air i was feeling good after that no pain but yesterday i had on a sports bra i had took my stuff off and I had put on a sports bra, but it was hurting on my incision line. So I had some gauze with me. So I put my gauze up in there because it was hurting my stitches or incisions. And um, when I got back home, I knew I was going to take a shower because I was outside. So that was going to be my first showering day. Um, so when I got back home, I went to go take my shower and my incisions were bloody. It was, it was blood on my pads. So... Um, I was already telling my sister that that bra was kind of irritating me anyways. It felt like it was too short. Um, so when I got back, it was some blood on my incision lines. So I had told her about that. And I'm trying to pull this down. My stomach is so big because I haven't pooped. So it's making everything like curl up and fall into my crease of my boobs. This is what it looks like now. My stomach is so big. Like, look at this wrapping. This is such a horrible job. Ugh. I just can't get it. Right. Ow. So, let me get into the story about why it's like this. So, long story short. Um, I had on the sports bra, but that was uncomfortable. Okay, so like I was saying, the sports bra I had on was uncomfortable. So I took that off and then 
And my sister helped me shower. She has a handheld shower. So she took it down to kind of like wet the back of me and everything. I cleaned myself, but she just like rinsed me off. And when I got out, she kind of like helped me moisturize my back. And then I went to go put on my Fruit of the Loom bra, the ones that clasp in the front. But those bras are so short, like it was falling right on my incisions again. So I'm like, oh my God, I can't get comfortable with my bras. We put gauze underneath to lay on my incisions. Ate dinner and everything, still was uncomfortable. So I was like, no, we need to wrap me back up how I was when they left. When I left the hospital, so that's why I'm back to this. So now I just have on the gauze underneath and I have on the wrap, but it's just not as comfortable as it was when they wrapped me when I was in the hospital. So like it keeps bulging and like buckling. I don't know if it's because how I'm laying, but no, because I've been laying like this. But like this is way down here when I really need to be up here. It's just so much going on and I'm so uncomfortable. And the more I try to make myself comfortable, the more sore I get. So I really don't know. I was going to order this bra off Amazon, but it says it's not going to get here till Thursday, and it's Monday. And then I was going to go to Walmart and try to find, like, a longer A-line bra, long line bra. But I really just, since that was the way, since I left the house the last two days, I kind of wanted to just sit in the house for today. When I left the house, I didn't do much, but it's just like I left the house. And um, my throat finally stopped being really sore yesterday. Like, I stopped being scratchy. It's still kind of sore and, like tender but it stopped being scratchy yesterday but yeah today is three days pulled up i have yet to poop um i haven't been taking the pain pills as much i've been taking them like once or twice a day but i've just been taking my antibiotic and i must i've been taking my antibiotic with every meal three times a day uh, i take my muscle relaxers at night to help me kind of like relax and go to sleep and then i take my nausea medicine here and there when i take my antibiotics because sometimes it makes me nauseous but I've just been staying hydrated, been drinking Powerade, ginger ale, water, pineapple juice, and now I'm having a smoothie. Um, and I'm going to try to help me poop a little bit. So I just took some Tylenol when I woke up. And so I'm going to take some stool softeners in a little bit to hopefully get me pooping. And I think that's why my bras have been hurting because my stomach is like so far out right now. It's like making everything buckle. So I think that's why I've been so sore. But, um... I think that's why my bras have been like kind of cutting me right here but i don't know it's just i have to figure out a comfortable bra in a comfortable position because i'm not really sore or in any pain it's just the bras are like i can feel them on my incisions and my incisions has been hurting this whole time um yesterday my boobs were super tight and the skin was pulling but today they don't feel as tight last night i fell asleep with the ice pack on my chest so that might have helped but my skin is loosening up a little bit so that's nice because um, they were so tight throughout the day depending on what I'm doing they get so tight but yeah that's just a quick update I just have to figure out a way to get comfortable with my bra but I've taken a shower I've changed my clothes um, I'm just gonna call the nurses and just ask them maybe I can get some new gauze or something or maybe I can come in and they can rewrap me it's not hard to wrap me obviously but I just think I need like fresh supplies because I'm very uncomfortable but yeah that is just what it is looking like now so i will check oh and then my tape came off my nipple a little bit from when i took my shower it, i guess it got like a little unsticky but it doesn't hurt so i kind of just like unroll it and wrap it and lay it flat but that's pretty much it um, the nurses and everybody have been calling me and checking up on me so that's nice but i think i'm gonna text them today and ask what i can do about the comfort of my bra because i have to stay tightly compressed oh and that's another thing when I put the other bra on yesterday, I don't think it was tight enough. I think that's why I swole up so much because I think the bra was too loose. So when I put this on, it immediately kind of like the swollen went down and stuff. So I think the more space you give it, the more you swell. I don't know how that works, but yes, I'm going to let you guys go. Me and my raspy voice and I will come back when I have an update with something. So this is what the girls are looking like so far. So like I said, I took a shower so you can kind of see my markers and stuff are gone but this is what we're looking like they look like implants <laughs> so yep i'll check in with you guys later